Hi, I'm John Simento, and I'm going to teach you how to play my game Liberation, published by Buttonshy Games. Liberation is a two-player asymmetric game in 18 cards. One player is the Dynasty, which rules the galaxy with an iron fist. The other player is the Liberation, fighting for galactic freedom from their hidden base. The game consists of four double-sided map cards, which you'll shuffle and lay out in a two-by-two -two grid before starting the game. Let's turn them over, do a shuffle, and lay them out. On the map, you'll see 14 cities, and each city corresponds to one of the 14 city cards in the deck. Let's take a quick look at the city cards. Each city has a letter and a name, a picture, and two missions, one for the Liberation and one for the Dynasty. The Liberation can only use the top mission, and the Dynasty can only use the bottom mission. Some missions have a cost next to their name, which I'll explain in a moment. And you'll also see a symbol between the two mission boxes, which tells you the type of the city. For example, this is a weapons city, so the missions have to do with weaponry. On the map, you'll see the 14 cities with their letters and names connected to each other by routes. For example, M and L on the same card are adjacent, and M and H on different cards are also adjacent. You can also see the type of each city on the map, so you can know what the missions are. Cities of the same type have the same missions. The two sides of the game, Dynasty and Liberation, play very differently. For one thing, the Dynasty occupies cities face up and can occupy more and more cities as the game goes on. The Liberation just has their secret base face down in front of them. The Dynasty's goal is to find and attack the Liberation's secret base. If they can do that, they win. The Liberation's goal is to survive long enough to gain support for their cause by making it through three acts, or reshuffles, of the deck. If the Liberation can make it through the deck three times, then they win. Just a couple more concepts and we can start the game. I mentioned that the Dynasty occupies cities. So, when they occupy a city, they place it face up in front of them. I've now occupied two cities. The Dynasty can also exploit cities they occupy. They do that by turning the city 90 degrees. They've now exploited that city. They can unexploit a city by turning it back. The Liberation never occupies cities themselves. They only have their secret base face down and the cards in their hand. Finally, let's look at one of the city cards again, specifically the missions. I mentioned some of the missions have costs. For example, this deploy superweapon mission is really powerful but the dynasty has to exploit three other cities to use it. Each of these arrow symbols means exploit one other city. And on the same card, the Liberation's armed resistance action has a cost. The Liberation needs to discard one other card to use it. That's what the X symbol means. So let's finish setting up the game. We already shuffled and put out the map. Now we'll shuffle the city cards into a draw deck. and deal three cards to each player. The dynasty goes first and chooses the first city they occupy. They put it in front of them face up. Then the liberation looks at their cards and picks one to be the secret base. And they put it face down in front of them. Finally, you'll discard one card off the deck to form the discard pile, which is also face down. And then the dynasty player takes the first turn. Each turn consists of a start of turn then one action, then an end of turn. 
At the start of the dynasty's turn, they may draw a card, or they may unexploit a city if they have a city already exploited, or do neither. Then they can take one of three actions. First, they can unexploit a city as their action, so if they don't do anything else, they can unexploit two cities in one turn. Or they can play a card from their hand to use its dynasty mission, and then discard it. Of course, you have to pay the cost, so you might not have enough occupied cities early in the game to use all your missions. And again, after you use a mission from your hand, you discard the card. Or they can exploit a city, which lets them use it for a number of things. They can exploit a city to occupy an adjacent city, which just means put it down face up from their hand. So if I exploit M, now I can also occupy H from my hand. Now I have two occupied cities. Or they could exploit a city to attack an adjacent city, which means they think the Liberation has that city. So in this case, I exploit M, and I say I attack K. And if the Liberation has that city in their hand, I get it as a new occupied city. Or if I don't want it, I can discard it. Or if it's Liberation-based, then I win. Or finally, you can exploit a city to use its dynasty mission. And of course, you have to pay the cost. So for example, if I have N as an occupied city, I can exploit it, use its recruit spy action, look at the top three cards of the deck, keep one if I want, and put the other two back in any order. Since I'm trying to narrow down where the liberation base is, it's a great action. I've gotten a bunch of information and I might even have an idea of what city to attack next turn. So again, anytime you use your action to exploit a city, you're doing it to either occupy an adjacent city from your hand, or to attack an adjacent city, or to use the city's mission. So that means there's actually two ways to use a city's mission, right? You can play the card from your hand to use the mission and then discard it. Um, or you can use the mission on an occupied city by exploiting it. After they take their action, the dynasty player's turn ends. Oh, there's a hand limit of three cards at the end of your turn. So if you have more than three cards, you have to discard any extras. I only have three cards. Um, and remember, once again, the discard pile is face down. Now it's the liberation player's turn. At the start of their turn, the Liberation can draw a card. Then they can take one of three possible actions. First, they can play a card from their hand to do its mission and discard it after. Of course, anytime they do that, they're giving a piece of information to the other player, helping them narrow down where the base is. Fortunately, another action the Liberation player has is to evade. When they evade, they pick up their base card shuffle it into their hand, then put down either the same base card again or an adjacent card from their hand. So anytime you evade, you're either keeping your base in the same place or moving it to an adjacent city. Or the third option on your turn is to sabotage. This is how the Liberation can strike back at the Dynasty and stop them from building up. When you sabotage, you name a city on the map that must be adjacent to a card in your hand or adjacent to your base. So I would say, I sabotage A. And if the Dynasty player has that card in their hand, they would have to discard it. This player does not. Sabotaging only affects cards in the Dynasty's hand. Once it's occupied on the table, it's too late to sabotage it. So notice that unlike the Dynasty player, the Liberation player usually only plays missions from their hand, not from the table. Of course, mission text can break this or any other rules. For example, armed resistance lets you use the mission from an occupied city. At the end of the liberation player's turn, they have to discard down to three cards. Remember, the discards are face down. And then the dynasty player takes the next turn, and then the players alternate turns until the secret base is attacked, or the deck is reshuffled three times. 
Anytime a player tries to draw a card, if the deck is empty, reshuffle the deck first and then draw. Since you need to track how many reshuffles have happened, you can rotate the base card since it has numbers on the back. When the game starts, it's act one. Then after the first reshuffle, it's act two. And after the second reshuffle, it's act three. And if you're about to reshuffle the deck for a third time, instead, the Liberation wins. And that's how you play Liberation. If you have any rules questions, you can reach me at the links in the video description, and I'd be happy to help. I hope you enjoy my game.